The Environmental Protection Agency is under fire from state senators over the huge oil spill two weeks ago in Martinez. At a state senate committee hearing today in Sacramento, EPA investigators revealed that the only inspection of the tank that leaked 175,000 gallons of oil was made before construction of the tank was completed. Anytime you have an inspection scheme, there is a built-in probability that you're not going to catch everything. You don't inspect 100% yes, of all the facilities. Yes, the law says you have to have a fail-safe operation. That's true. Not a maybe it works, not a maybe it might work, but a fail-safe operation. You're right. And without a fail-safe operation, you have a violation. There is a violation here. Shell representatives were also on the firing line, admitting that a refinery worker had left the drainage valves open in violation of company policy. Shell still doesn't know what caused the drainage pipe in that tank to break, however. Contra Costa County may file suit against the oil company to ensure that all damages from the spill are paid in full. Four refinery workers are still missing from the explosions and fire that destroyed another Shell oil refinery in Louisiana yesterday. Firefighters and rescue workers are still searching for the missing men, but think there's little chance anyone survived. Three bodies have already been recovered. Chemical engineers say there is no record of a similar problem with a catalytic cracker at any other oil refinery. It is the cracker that exploded. Replacing it will cost Shell $100 million. The Nevada rocket fuel plant that exploded into flames on Wednesday is still under heavy guard while officials determine whether there is any remaining danger. Six people hurt in the blast are still hospitalized, and today investigators revealed a little more about what happened to the two people who were killed. One of them, 62-year-old Leroy Westerfield, apparently decided to stay in the building and to try to call for help. Westerfield had been disabled by polio, and apparently a friend was trying to coax him to leave. Moments later, the plant exploded and both men were killed. Nevada Senator Harry Reid is asking President Reagan to declare the site a federal disaster area. A Los Angeles City Councilman wants to require all city high-rise buildings there to have sprinkler systems, saying such a law could have prevented the city's worst skyscraper disaster. A nationwide team of arson experts today combed the first interstate bank building, searching for the cause of the fire that gutted five floors on Wednesday night and claimed one life. The painstaking search for evidence may take several weeks. Arson has still not been ruled out. Are we sending our young people mixed messages, telling them to do one thing while encouraging them to do the opposite?